All right, the long-awaited moment when you guys see that basically the stuff I do is really all not that different from what you guys probably do. A little bit of a late start today in regards to getting our food in. Uh, it is about 10.40 in the morning. Um, I just had some things to do in the morning. Woke up a little bit late. This is the day after Valentine's Day. So <laughs> had a few glasses of wine. Uh, which to me is one of the biggest perks of, uh, I guess, being in a more casual fat loss phase. Like if I want to put off the day to the side and not make it a 100% day, I can do that. Um, and we've had a few occurrences like that, like whether it was Christmas cookies, uh, whether it was uh, the, the NFL playoffs were, were, were running rampant for a while. So it's just nice to have that because once you do start your contest prep, you get a sense of feeling like you're trapped. So it's nice to have, yeah, you know, it's not like we go off the rails. It's nice to have a sense of freedom where it's like, okay, today's just not going to be a 100% day. We'll call it 50 and we're good. So today will definitely be a 100% day because I'm coming off my two refeed days. And then yesterday was a bit of a loose day. I went to go see a movie and, and we're going to go pretty hard today. So that's how I do my fat loss phases at this point. To a large extent, it's, you know, kind of sort of, it's, it's, it goes day to day, you know, how I'm feeling, how training is going, um, you know, all that. So I can be more dynamic in that sense. And while I keep a lot of that around when I am prepping, because the goal there is like Shredsville at the end, I have to have systems in place that keep me objective. Whereas right now, we can kind of go... Uh, you know, go at the rate that we please or we see most appropriate given what's immediately in front of us. So today it's going to be a pretty assertive dieting day and uh, I'll show you guys how we do that. Boom, so we got two apples. I'm going to call those about 300 grams. And then we have eight ounces of chicken, so I do weigh out my protein. And then, of course... I lose some of my uh, daily calorie allotment to this guy, so we'll call it the dog tax. Hey, it's about to be it's about to be 1 p.m. We get to try these babies on today. I'm excited, man. I've really been enjoying this contraption here, and uh, yeah, it's going to be nice to have uh, next year because my prep is going to leak into the cold months, so it's going to be nice to, hey, just be able to do what I need to do indoors. All right, in case you got one too, you wanna to see what I'm up to. Man, I always go a little bit harder than uh, I was scheduled to, but uh, 15 minute ride, that was actually pretty good. Output was 146, 10 minute ride, just to change up the scenery. So 25 minutes of cardio today. This is the first one of the week. Two more, shower, eat, and yeah. And then eat one more time, hopefully, then make it out to the gym. All right, this right here has probably been the number one dietary infatuation. You always pick up some sort of new food uh, when you diet. And for me, it's been the papaya. Um, literally, I don't know where that came from. Uh, it, it used to have a rotten smell slash taste to it for me, but that changed. All right, <laughs> there we go. Eight ounces of chicken, dog tax not included, uh, 400 grams of papaya. For those of you counting at home, this will be meal two. We'll have one smaller one pre-gym and then a dinner or post-training. Well, I guess it's both. And then probably one more snack to wrap up the day. Um, you guessed it. Good old chicken. Four ounces. That's it. That's going to be the pre-workout. Dogs treats when I go to the gym. They get their uh, food bowl smeared with peanut butter. And this is what I get before I go to the gym. I've been really uh, digging this uh, non-stim formula. So pretty solid stuff. Tastes good, which is important. And yeah, and that's just been hitting the spot of late. So 
uh, yeah, I'm going to roll with these. So shout outs to Derek from PR Breakers. Sensational product. Not a paid advertisement. It's just my homie and he makes some good stuff. Three, that's nine. Three, that's six. One. Two. One. Two. Three. One, two, two, three, that's four. That's nine. One. Two. All right, post-workout meal right here. I'm really only eating this to have me some of this. You either like it or you don't, right? Um, and then 300 grams of blueberries and then this beef, is it 93%? What is it, is it 93%? 93%. Yeah. 93%. Uh, no, I think it's leaner, right? 96. 96, okay. 96, so it's really lean. Um, so I have, this is my post. And because I have to commit to uploading, this is nasty. Like, talk about an acquired taste. This is one of those prep foods that just stuck. This is from 2008. Discovered this. When you're on a low-fat diet, like salty, savory things, uh, which usually I, I might tend to lean that way, uh, are just amazing. So this is going to be the meal after that one. Or these just came out the oven. So... Mm. I should get, the, I should do the fish. I should be, should be good about that. Um, I'll do my best guys, can't guarantee anything. Right, so that was it. Uh, very assertive day dieting wise, but again, coming off the refeeds and then the hybrid refeed day, uh, I just felt like I could go for it. And, and that's usually how it is. Like when I feel good, I'm going strike. When I don't, again, whether it be hunger, life, recovery, losing too fast, losing too slow, all adjust. Um, come prep time, very different, very different. I, I try to keep things above 2,700 calories as long as I can, which usually is all the way up until the last um, like five pounds or so. Um, and again, not a fat loss phase uh, for the sake, well, it's a fat loss phase. It's not a contest prep diet. We're doing this to set up the contest prep diet. I refuse to start a contest prep over 180 pounds, uh, and that's why we're working on that. So um, in the high 170s, this is according to the schedule, my last week of dieting, I'm pretty sure it's going to be since I usually uh, lose a little extra weight once uh, I start eating again. You know, water retention, um, a host of other things. But uh, but yeah, that's usually how it goes. So if I end up weighing, say, a 178 is my average, I know that three weeks later, I'll probably be two to three pounds lighter. Uh, and then the actual prep starts in May. So yeah, that's what one of these days looks like as of now. Again, like might seem super assertive, but you know, I've done this long enough where it's like, I know that, you know, unless some sort of tragic event happens, There'll be times where I'm hungry, I'll be 
overfed and done with eating. So what, what I'm saying is that, you know, grass is always greener. Um, the whole scarcity mindset when it comes to dieting, it kind of goes away uh, once you've done this enough times. Like I could be at this point, like the deepest, darkest stages of my prep. And I know that, you know, this is like literally, first of all, I can, if I want out, I, I can quit whenever I want. Uh, but also, you know, like it's just a game of like pretend when you really think about it, right? And uh, a few weeks from now, like, I'll be like eating, right? Uh, and then when I'm full and like stuffed to the point where, um, you know, like you're not ever like tired of food, you're just not hungry, like one of those phases. I, I know that, you know, right around the corner, I'm going to be feeling the exact opposite of this. So, you know, since you go through enough cycles, like honestly, you just learn to deal with whatever the situation is at hand. Um, and that just comes with experience. So would not recommend this method, uh, to the majority of you guys, at least not right off the bat, but eventually once you have, you know, many successful fat loss phases under your belt, I think it's worth trusting yourself. So, um, that's it. I need to eat. I'm actually hungry <laughs> right now. And, um, and I need to get this out so that, uh, yeah, you guys can see what's up. Uh, thank you for joining me, guys. A little different this time. Um, next one, we'll, you know, get into the training and, and all that because I know, you know, y'all love that. I love that. Like, honestly, that's my favorite way to do this. And we'll be back to that next time.